much now. And I, I'm not even through the, the three weeks and, and I'm making this video. Now, I don't have some relevatory story and there's nothing profound or exciting about how I got to this point. And I just have to imagine that some of you fine people who happen to watch this are just like me. And with any luck, I hope that remains true. You know, I've never been really athletic, nor necessarily unathletic, um, just just average. I mean, I played baseball when I was younger, and and I've stayed, you know, occasionally active since. And I've just, I've never been what you would call fit. But I've also never considered myself to be overweight either. So, you know, no, my belly hasn't ever sagged over my belt, but I've never had a six-pack like most men. And I, I think you get the picture. Anyway... I've always known that I'm a little bit overweight and, and I never really, it, it just never really bothered me or, or, you know, kept me from enjoying my life. And over the, the last few years, I've noticed that I've become progressively more tired, more sedentary. You know, I, I sit at a desk all day and it, it just makes me want to grab an easy dinner and kick back on the couch, you know, maybe, maybe watch some football. Anyway, walk it up and, and down a few flights of stairs has me winded. My knees have started aching some. So, you know, wait, what? You know, I might not be in my 20s, but I certainly don't consider myself that old yet. And, you know, why are my knees aching? And, and why is this old white-haired dude jogging past me faster than, than I can sprint? <laughs> so I went to the doctor to get my knees checked out, and nothing was wrong. He said, nothing is wrong with your knees. You just need to lose some weight, and that's it. That's all it took for me to realize that if I, if I didn't do something in a few more years, I would be just another average middle-aged dude. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't even be that. I'd, I'd be more like a, a subpar middle-aged dude. So I spent a few weeks hemming and hawing over different weight loss techniques and, and several trips to the bookstore, nutrition store, and countless hours of online reading. It just left me no closer to a solution. So what did I do? Absolutely nothing. I just I met a buddy of mine for a couple of beers, and he showed up looking a lot better he looked like a, a, a lot better, younger version of the last time I saw him. And I told him he was looking good. And, and then we got down to, you know, the business of beer. And after about 30 minutes of catching up and yelling at the game you know, that they had on, I finally asked him what he'd been doing. And he told me about the fat decimator. And, you know, anyway, that's my impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger. But anyway, here I am today. I'm 14 days into Kyle Cooper's system. And I just have to admit, I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. And it's all without a lot of effort. I've dropped 10 pounds, and I'm just not as tired as I used to be. And I'm considering putting, you know, more time and energy into exercise because I'm starting to feel, uh, I'm starting to feel good again. And I just cannot wait to track my progress and see how I feel in another week, and then a week after that, and and so on. So. This is why I said at the beginning of this video that I hope other people who are, who are out there just like me stay that way because I feel great. And if you're like me, give this guy's system a go and maybe you'll feel like a, a younger, better version of yourself too.